Yo, what is going on guys? And welcome, we have got a new series on our hands here, it's Ultimate Team Series, Squad Builders, yes, it's gonna be awesome. And it is a new series, it's just Squad Builders, not anything you've seen, well you probably have seen it before, but oh well, it's my kind of shit, so let's go into it. This series is gonna be called Nations Collide, it's basically where I just go into a league like BPL for example, because that's what we're doing today, and we just pit, um... We'll basically say, right, we'll just show you, right, we've got England and France today, Nations Collide, both clashing together in the, in the BPL, and this is the outcome. So in goal, we start off with Joe fucking Hart, holy shit, you will see Laser in uh, this episode where he saves ridiculous shots, I was actually playing against him as well at the time, and he, I think I had... If I show you the end of it, I think I had 20 something shots, or no, 17 on target, and only one of those went in. And some of the highlights, they, they were going top left corners and shit, and it was pathetic. So, yeah, that's why we got him in goal. Um, also, I'd like to tell you that this isn't um, just going for pitting the best, it's like a cheap Nations Collide team, say 30, 30k or less, basically. It's just, just so, you know. If you want to try it out, you can have a go. It's not going to include the bench, so this is just a random bench, as you can see. It's just my other team. You can just uh, throw whatever you want on the bench. I mean, who uses the bench? I don't really use it. I'll just put it there, just for the, there. So, uh, yeah, let's go left back. Left back, we have got Kieran Gibbs. Yeah, you could either go with him or Bain, to be quite honest, but I only go with Gibbs because he links up with people here. Yeah? And because he's a fucking badass. I mean, look at that. 84 pace. Yeah. You know it. We're going to put him there. And for 50 coins, who can moan? So, yeah. Let's go into the, sec the centre back, the English centre back, which is Gary Cahill, motherfucker! I think he's like one of the only good ones that we've got at the minute. I mean, I don't want to put fucking Ferdinand or something in. He just sucks balls. Plus, he's uh, pretty much. He looks pretty much like the same centre back we're going to have a look in a sec, which is. A pretty, you've pretty much seen it. Koscielny, they're both pretty much the same. I mean, they've both got relatively, relatively, relatively good pace, uh, same defence. Uh, Gary's just got fucking better heading, but you know, Koscielny's a fucking badass. And for MSU by him, 1,300? One, 1, it's a bargain. It's a bargain. So, right back French, we go with uh, Xania. Yes, just a link up. I think he's got it. I think he's like the only right back who's French in here, I think. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But yeah, voting for 1,000. That ain't too shabby. I mean, it's a bit shit, but oh well. Whatever floats you about. I mean, I'm going to say it's now. It's got a bit of Arsenal players in, uh, just because Arsenal love the French and the English. Might as well just fucking call this fucking team Arsenal. <laughs> oh well. Let's uh, go into CDM with Jack Wilshire. You know this guy. He's a beast, and hopefully in the future he will be a great England captain. Maybe. I reckon one day he can be because he's actually he's fucking he's dribbling. He's immense. I mean, for 1,700 as well, it's to steal. He's quality. Some of the shit he does, I mean, yeah, oh, look at him. He knows it, he's like, yeah, someone near. Right, but, well, right mid, we go with Ben Arthur. Oh, you know why I've picked him, because his five-star skill moves. Everyone, 1,100 five-star skill moves. I mean, I think the only, ne the only next one you could go with is Nanny and McGeady, I think. But I don't know if McGeady's been, I think McGeady's been dropped, I ain't too sure. But obviously, not fucking French. So yeah, that's who we go with right mid. I mean, you gotta love Ben Arthur. Yes, he says 76 shooting, but he's actually like uh, the left mid, I'm about to put on here, which is a uh, young but badass. They've both got the same shooting, 76, and I think, yeah, he's about faster and he's got better dribbling and all that, but um, young and Ben Arthur like, shooting when you cut in the wings, they're ridiculous. I mean, I'm surprised I ain't got any, I don't think I've got any clips of them scoring. I think it's just the strikers that I've got scoring, but um, either way. They actually are pretty sexy, and um, I think, yeah, 3,600. You could debate that. Um, who else could I have gone with? Oh, yeah, I could have gone with Sterling. But I just went with Young just for the price, and because he's a lot better overall. But, yeah, we will go into the camp position now, which is a Frenchie Nazari, an asshole, because he left Arsenal. But, oh, well, you know, shit happens. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. For what you pay for him, 9,500. I mean, who else could you go for? Was French and thing? Yeah, that even. I think I think he's any good French one. I think you know. Yeah, I think he is. I ain't too sure. But yeah, he ain't too shabby. I mean, he sometimes he's never in the box for some reason. I don't know. Let's have a look at his work rates. 
He's got a high and low, but I've never fucking seen him. I don't really take much shots with him because he's never there, to be quite honest. So there's not much to talk about him. But uh, on the left, English striker, we go with Sturridge. Oh, God, this dude is on form. He's such a badass for Liverpool right now. And hopefully he will be for England because, you know, we've got shit fucking strikers for England. That's why we got him there. The only reason like, I haven't put Rooney or something is because, as I said, we're keeping this 30k budget. Uh, just I don't really want to overspend because it just it just makes it look crappy. Then I think. Plus, not many people have like 500 fucking k and all that shit to uh, smash into the team. But storage is a badass. He's actually is sick. Uh, you'll see in some of these clips, his shots are just pathetic as well. And for the pace or you know it. Next to him, we go with Loic Remy. Oh, these two up front. I mean, it, it's just, it's sweat. It is, oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I've gone off it. My bad. Um, it's, this commentary is shit as well at the minute. I think it is. Well, you have to decide that. But um, yeah, look, Remy is actually pretty damn good to be quite honest. And for 1,200, some of the shots, he's 73 shooting. I don't know how he, because when you see one of these shots he did, I don't know how he got it in to be quite honest, because the angle was ridiculous. And yeah, that pretty much sums up the team. I, well, obviously it came to the bench, but um, yeah, 100% chemistry. So we're just going to, um, I'm going to leave you with some clips. I um, hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, you know, 20, I think, all in all, this comes to about 28, 29k, so if you want to pick it up, check it out, see what you think of it, I actually think it's pretty good. I'll leave you some clips, but um, if you'd actually like to see me do commentary over the room, uh, yeah, you'd have to let me know, but I haven't really prepared that for today. So, yeah, let me know if you want actually want to hear commentary over these clips, if not, then I'll just leave it with a bit of music, so I'll see you in the next episode, guys, take care, and bye-bye.